Hello there. So today we'll be doing the AP Calculus BC uh, free response question two. Um, yeah, you can see the title. This question mostly focuses around watery stuff, um, and it relies on um, because it's a calculated question. A lot of these answers are basically just plug and chug. Um, as a result, I've already done um, all the answers kind of beforehand in order to reduce time, and really, it's not that interesting to see someone just punch things in the calculator anyways. So, uh, most, it mostly thematically follows a uh, volume. Uh, researchers on the boat investigating plankton cells in the sea at the depth of 8 meters. Uh, words, words, words. Basically, this is this equation gives you the uh, density of plankton cells in uh, millions of cells per cubic meter. Uh, the first question asks us to find p point twenty five. So uh, all you gotta do is you plug it into uh, you plug it f and int into your calculator. And that just gives you uh, negative 1.179 million. Yeah. And what this basically means is that as the rate of change of, of the density of plankton cells, that's a tank twister, is negative 1.179 million cells per cubic meter per meter at the depth of 25 meters. In other words, at 25 meters, the rate of change in the density is negative 1.179 million so as you go down the number of plankton cells within a region decreases uh, next consider a vertical column of water and see with a horizontal cross section of constant area 3 square meters um, so the basic form is you've got the you've got the integral of the P, uh, pH function, but because the co uh, because the horizontal cross section is three square meters, you got to multiply it by three in order to actually account for the whole column width. That gives you one point six seven five four one five million. In other words, um, at a column of the co uh, that is has a base uh, area of 3 square meters there would be about 106, uh, 1,675 million uh, cells of plankton for question C question C kind of relies on the previous question as well um, this uses just kind of uh, less than logic. So the first thing is we know that f of h, which is um, the amount of plankton cells uh, beyond the zero to thirty limit, is less than u of h after h is greater than or equals to thirty for all h greater than or equal to thirty. So millions of cells this amount is given by 0 to 30 of phdh plus 3 times uh, 30 to infinity fhdh so you have your cell equation on the left side and oh that's interesting and then you have your uh, uhdh uh, equation on the right side and the reason why this is important is because although FHDH is unknown we do have the value of UHDH and we do have the value of PHDH so when you plug in you have the actual values and uh, once you just do the arithmetic you notice that the right hand side gives you uh, 1,990, which is definitely less than 2,000. 
so and because the millions of cells thing I oh I mistyped that they got that because the million of cells uh, half is I less than or equal to uh, 1990 it definitely has to be less than 2000 the last one is kind of weird because of the fact that it is relatively unrelated to the rest of the problem it only talks about uh, both distance all this really is is it's basically you gotta use the whole uh, arc length uh, or perimeter I can't remember the actual I think it's arc length you gotta use the arc length um, integral in order to get the value just like all the other ones it already gives you x prime t and y prime t which means thankfully that you don't have to uh, derive it for yourself just plug in the values into uh, the uh, fn integral function and you get your travel distance 883.461 meters and traveled in one hour yeah.